Hello. It's been a small while since I've made my last Star Citizen gameplay video, so I figured I could make one now. And I <laughs> realized that I've been actually spending most of my spare time in the basement building my new cockpit, so I haven't even opened the bounties yet. So that might actually make, make a nice video, I figured. So today, just going, going to blast through VRT to VHRT, that just all the levels, just and quickly. Cut and jump it with the bounty so you don't have to see me traveling for an hour. But that's the topic for today. And also trying out something new. As you can see, I have a Track IR5 here. I still have my Top AI Tracker 5 here, but picked, it, picked this up second hand. Just going to see. I think this actually might work better for me than Top AI Tracker because of my setup here. So let's see. I'm going to sell one of these, but I'm not sure yet which one. Let's get started. So, power on. And permission to get out. You are clear to launch. This is actually quite quite responsive. Feels nice. And I one thing I like with this is that I have the sensor here. It doesn't have to be here. That fits my setup a bit better. Also made a small change to, to my binding setup here. Used to, I used to have used to have the uh, speed limit on the throttle here, but I moved next to the here next to the acceleration limiter because Thank it just you. feels better. Okay, and I have the just throttle forward here. I can use this one or the basically hose or hoses, whichever I want prefer. But now for topic of today, found this. Let's. And this one is naturally so far away from anything. Finally, closing on my first bounty, the wheel party here. I think I think these low level bounties might be even more annoying than higher level, just because they might have something like M50 going like and Turbo Trust fly going around here and just trying to sweat sweat the, and and then fly here and just going past all the time. But let's see what's here, what we have here. So weapons on. Let's slow down a bit and start heading for the first catch of the day. Weapons are working, and we still don't have anything on the radar. So I might just kind of try to do a quick hit, hit and run, and not spend time with the handsmen here today, because that just. It would take so much time, I hope, to ha do this quickly instead of just spending spending whole evening fighting with everything. Let's see who we have here. We have Gladius. Gladius. No, not, not our target here. I think we need to kill the Gladius in any way because that might be an issue when trying to head out. And here's our target. So, guess we're just going to slow down. I might be a, bit, be a bit rusty at the beginning here, just because I spent the last time flying Hornet in these years, and these flight dynamics are a bit different. Okay, so much has trained me, but at least I managed to do the bounty, but yeah, I guess I'll need to go and repair after this one, but just need to kill this one also. This might be annoying trying to exit from from the location with this guy kept shooting me. But yeah, the, I would say that the flight dynamics of Hornet are a bit different than this one in DCS, so might be some getting used to here. But hey, that was the first VLRT that was quite easy, except for the ramming part. But let's go for the next one. After traveling from Hurston to Horizon, a small pit stop and few small issues. That's a small hiccups. I'm ready for the Low risk target, so this is going to take the whole knife from me with this speed, but hey, 
at least it's going to get done. So, the low risk target again, small ships. I'm not expecting anything special. Special here, some annoying little buggers. Let's see if I get the M50 finally just running laps around me and stuff like that. Okay, so you have here Mustang, Mustang Delta, and they're fun. Fun little ships to fly and a few ads, but this is space bounty, so I can just go deal with the primary target and bugger off. Okay, here you are. Where, where are you going? Here, okay. Could you please stay on my radar? Okay, here you go. But yeah, this is just going to easy. Just get deal with this quickly and then bugger off. So it won't be that difficult. And figure out some. Yeah, shoot the missiles. I don't care. Just going to need to figure out some OM point here and move for the next bounty. Okay, so this time I got lucky. It was just also around yellow and just one jump away. Didn't even have to use OM marker. Just one jump and to the next certification. So this one I like. That's a good day. Roland, let's see who you are. I think this time we're getting the, might be getting the larger ships also. Perhaps, let's see. Your saber, okay, no. Oh, okay, it's getting quite dark. Not seeing the asteroids, but yeah, this should be just. Uh, that was slightly a bit too easy. <clears throat> so let's just bugger off and find the next one. Okay, so I didn't get that lucky for the third time in a row. I had to travel back to the Hurston, but at least this is also in space. So in that sense, I think this won't be that difficult. And space boundaries are always just quick. Quick and fun stuff to do, so as so long as we go close the distance and at the moment I'm at high risk target, so not the last one, but one before the last one here. And these guys are already fight back, so medium risk targets are pretty easy. But here you might end up fighting with with stuff like Valkyries or Hurricanes, and with few extras, so it might be a bit more challenging. I don't know if it's kind of one Valkyrie or something like that, and several extras. I think I. I'm going to take the extras away first, that will make it just safer. Since if you're pounding some you know, big ship and then you have a lot of smaller ones. Again, so oh, more than, uh, I don't know. Let's just have fun. I don't know, I'm just going to take a couple of these guys. out of the game, make it a bit easier for me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, quick to quickly to take rid of and some some training since like I mentioned I'm a bit rusty. At the moment I haven't been playing this game that much because I've been Whoa! Okay, that wasn't fun. Major torque imbalance. Well, uh, let's just go for the main target. Vanguards are just easy. Easy to kill slow and not fighting back that badly. But the drogue imbalance isn't nice, naturally. Just didn't react for the missile quick enough, kind of got mixed up with the 
mixed up with the with my buttons here so ended up taking hitting the missile here and that wasn't fun so I think that means that I'll have to do some repairing here too but first let's see what we have available okay so just a quick bit stop to repair some damage here and I actually haven't tried this out this landing patch after, patch after the after we got the small hangers but I think yeah this is quite handy as soon as you can find them you can just land here and go for a quick repair and refill and then get back to the fight quite soon and the last one for today the VHRT I'm not going to go for ERT today they usually take ages to solo if you're interested in seeing me solo in ERT you can check out one of my previous videos where I do one with Mustang Alpha I'll add it at the link to the end plates at least if you're interested in checking out but this is this is again this is something I, where I actually have to try to do something a bit just not blow through without thinking and I think I'm just going to make this just a bit easier for me if I'm just going to send four missiles against one target I think I'm going to make this just go a bit faster if nothing else let's see once we get closer to what we have here I think I've I can take this this is the last target of the day so I'm just going to take everything down that we have here just for just for one and fun and for some practice as long as I don't crash into asteroids or something like that okay three targets Cutlass Black, okay this is okay this is going to be quite easy so we don't have any hurricanes or anything like that let's hope I don't I'm getting crimes that from that one this is oh crap that wasn't good good timing another Cutlass Black okay At least this isn't that difficult. Okay, this could have been much more difficult if we would have several hurricanes. Oh, this missile spam is quite annoying. Okay, that's going to hit me, I guess. Well, that was at least easy. And target today, hurricane. Oh, that was that should have been the first target. with the amount of these things can take damage and with their five power they're always not always that fun fun targets to deal with but same time better to have some challenge it's not that it's really difficult here okay that was a bit easy but yeah just for, for one let's for, just for fun let's take this these guys down and missile spam again that's quite interesting I'm well I have some because still left and the lead back I'm um, like big for the bigger target who's shooting me with the shotgun that was unexpected well I'm still going to take this one out I think it should be
So this is kind of just shooting grain stuff, opening around a slow ship that can take some damage, but really not that. Where did it go? What? What? What happened? So they went. They just went away. Okay, are we getting 40k or something? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but I think that's enough for today. So I'm just going to head for the cream hex since it's closed place. Okay, after a nice day, I'm finally, finally ready to call it for a day. So let's just get in and landing mode on for soft landing and get this thing down, not that it's really a challenge. At least after trying to learn the lander hornet. That was a bit more difficult. So that was a nice and soft landing here. Cross soft and we're done. So, thanks for watching again today. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in simple stuff, don't forget to check out my building off series. And also one thing commenting about the track IR, I think I'm going to keep this one. Feels, feel, feels much better in my setup than the Topi Eye Tracker. It's a great device, I don't have anything against it, but this just feels better for me and I can have the have the sensor up here, which is much better for the future. But like I said, thanks for watching and see you next time.